Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can make an intro for free using Panzoi.com and they actually have a new feature packed clip maker. I'm not sure why they don't call it intro maker. Um, it sounds a lot better intro maker than clip maker, but it's new and it's their new preview. They might add new uh, features to it now that it's like out. So it's their brand new version. Their old version was a 0.51. It was a lot more simple. It was 2D. Now this is 3D. So it looks a lot better. So you can just go on panzo.com, link in the description. Or you can do panzo.com slash tool slash clip maker, same thing. Um, here there's a lot of hundreds of thousands of templates. Just joking, there's like five. I'm not good at math. But here you can like load a project if you have one that was saved and you, you know, you wanted to quit or something. But here there's like some of them. And if you can press on that three bar thing, like, um, like yeah, it's, it'll show like what each symbol means. So this is basics, scene, objects. You know, you guys know how to speak English and stuff. You know, you know what that reads. I don't know how to tell you. But here, my favorite one out of all these is this one. It's the one with like a moving background that has like these uh, like horizontal bars. And one thing you will notice is that it won't appear in the background here. Once you render it and download it, you'll see it. But once you're in the editor itself, you won't be able to see it. But if you press on this for instance, instance, you will see that there are stars here. And but you won't see the background I like that purple background. So yeah, just to keep that in mind. And also, I was not able to like open this website up on Google Chrome for some reason. It just kept crashing. It said that WebGL like has been snatched or crashed or something like that every time it went on. So I just decided to go into Microsoft um, Edge right here. And so I chose my template. And it's in order of what you should do first. So the next thing is going to basics. Here, the video resolution should be the same as your uh, video resolution. Like, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory because if you do render in like 1080p and your intro is 4K, it will just downscale and it'll take longer to, you know, render anyways. So just keep it the same. So I record in 1080p, 30fps. Same thing with the frame rate. If you do record in 60fps, make it 60fps. If you have 30fps um, videos making 30fps because there's no point of having a 60fps video and rendering, rendering it in 30fps and here the length i'll make it like 10 seconds or shorter don't make it so long that you lose the attention of your viewers just to keep that in mind here too here darkness i'm not sure what that is you guys can test that out for yourself here so basically you can change the text and the light and stuff um really i don't know what the point of changing the light is I um, mean, maybe yeah, you can change the color of it uh, for the particles. You know, there's going to be some stuff in the background. But for now, I'll just change the text to make this a little bit shorter and like simpler for you guys. So let me just type in that. Why is my email showing? Do not email me any partner request. It gets really annoying. But here, one thing I noticed is that you can change the color. You can either just change a solid color right here or you can change it to a wallpaper or a picture. So that's really cool. So here. If you select texture here and then press select here, you can actually select like a wallpaper. So here you'll see, it, look, it doesn't look like that, right? If you zoom in, you'll see that it's just a lot of them repeated. So what I found out is if you go to repeat and make it 0 0.010, you'll see that if you zoom out, it'll like fill in the entire, all the words right here. So that is like very nice. It looks very, very cool. Like, does that not look cool? That looks very cool. And here you can do color correction, you can add a fisheye effect. I'm not going to do that because I like the way it looks like right now. And here the position, like you can add some like cool stuff. Uh, I don't know any of this, so you guys probably don't know any of this too. So don't mess with it unless you know what you're doing. And here, this was a little bit of a confusion in my last um, tutorial here. A lot of people didn't know how to add the music to the intro. I said, you know download a video editor and then add the intro and the music there but now that they built in it like put it in here built in you can just select it easily so let me just go into music and press on beginnings and you, if you press on it you'll see that it moves you'll see that it works now and press download next so go into mode make it best quality it does not take long to render maybe like five minutes and just keep everything else the same if you do want it fast just do fast render honestly the quality won't go down that much but i'd rather just do best quality Press start video render and I'll fast forward for you. One thing I did notice is that it does stop a little bit like a minute or so in the middle, around the middle, when it hits the middle of the bar. And then it, then after that, it's very quick. After it passes the middle, it's very quick. So just, just thought I'd tell you guys.
So this was what I was talking about. It will stay here for like a couple of seconds or minutes, but once it passes this, it will like finish. Okay, now that it's done rendering, you guys probably thought it was done downloading and <laughs> tricked you there, but uh, just press download your video and you should be set. What's the point of returning to editing if you just waited all that time? But just press it, it'll open up a new tab and you'll be able to download it. It'll automatically download and you don't have to do anything. But don't press the ads, you guys. Um, and here, if you open it, you'll see it. And so here it is. I'm not gonna lie, at first glance, it looked very nice and it like it still does look very nice for like a first intro. My first intro was a lot worse than this. And, uh, yeah, it's very good for beginners. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help out, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you could hit 200 likes, that'd be great. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. So the SV Spotlight, it's my shout out series.